Hi everybody, it's Charles, and I am here with a good friend, Marianne Williamson. I'm super excited to be here. Thank you for giving us your time today. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Of course. So, Marianne, I know a lot of things have happened in the past year. You ran for Congress. I Tell did. me the biggest lesson you learned doing that. Mm. Well, I think the most important thing for me mm -hmm. is that I was confirmed in my belief that people really do want a more meaningful relationship with the public sphere and that I got to participate in that field was thrilling to me. From Dennis Kucinich to Bernie, Senator Bernie Sanders to <clears throat> Elizabeth Kucinich and Lisa Bloom and others, Chink Ugar, to take the conversations around getting the money out of politics, around dealing with the corruption of our food supply, around racial in inequality, economic inequality, mass incarceration, these, con these conversations that were so central and pivotal to my congressional campaign, mm -hmm. those conversations continue. My not winning a seat in Congress doesn't stop the larger effort that needs to be uh, made here. And I'm just as committed to it as I always was. So to me, Sister Giant is the next event that we can all participate in. And I think those who do participate, being there that weekend, you know, mm. information is power. So mm. we need to share these ideas. We need to create a reverberant field. Too many people are just giving up. People are saying, well, there's nothing we can do about it. What do you mean there's nothing we can do? What if the abolitionists had said about slavery? Nothing we can do. What if the women suffragettes had said about women not having the right to vote? Well, there's nothing we can do. There's plenty we can do. We need to overturn Citizens United. We need to have public funding uh, of elections in this country. We need to get rid of the undue influence of money because otherwise we will not be able to deal with GMOs. We will not be able to deal with what the chemical companies are doing or the big agricultural companies are doing or defense contractors are doing or any other major multinational corporate entities that we might feel are taking the country in a direction differently than we would if we were truly acting from our hearts. Yes, <clears throat> and the food supply. There's going to be a speaker focusing on the food supply how it's been compromised and talking about a lot of GMOs. Tell me about that. Well, it's not just one speaker. It's Elizabeth Kucinich okay. will be speaking and moderating the panel okay. and experts on the GMOs. But most specifically, this is about, this This Sister Giant is about now what are we going to do about it? Action. So it's really talking about all of the efforts that have been made, that are successful, that can be made mm -hmm. locally and federally. Um, not only in the issue of um, the corruption of the food supply through things like GMOs, but also regenerative agriculture. Mm -hmm. So all of the ways that big agriculture and big chemical companies have um, moved food policies and, and agricultural policies in a direction that, that moves away from a greater care mm -hmm. uh, for the earth and for the earth's people. That's what we'll be digging into. And I love that you're offering scholarships to anybody around the world. So money is not something that should hold you back. No, absolutely uh, live stream not. is everywhere. So they, you can definitely register and there are scholarship opportunities absolutely. everywhere. Absolutely. Money it would not be keeping anyone away. Sistergiant.com. Yes. Thank you so much, Marianne. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Check it out.